What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are here for a very special video that I'm very excited about. It's one of my favorite videos that we do every single year here on the channel. And today we're doing it. We're counting down the top 10 WWE Ultimate Edition action figures from Mattel of 2023. Now the Ultimate Edition line deserved its own countdown while Elites deserved their own countdown in its own right. You know, you see this business strategy with a lot of different genres or industries. The best one that I can compare it to is shoes. So in in WWE Mattel action figures, you have the basic figure line, which is the most standard. Not a ton of articulation, not a ton of detail with deco and things of that nature. They are improving them in 2024, but it's kind of like your budget model can grasp a more casual audience. Then you have the mid-tier, which would be your elites or your middle ground for the shoes, which you add more detail, you add more articulation, a little more bells and whistles. And then you have the top of the line where you combine all those things, interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, championship belts, cloth goods, more articulation. Articulation. And then you get these Ultimate Editions, which you could probably easily say is the most popular thing that Mattel does right now with WWE action figures. I think it kind of took the world by storm, especially in the collecting community. There's a prominent audience out there that only collects Ultimate Editions. And in 2023, I think Mattel absolutely crushed it this year with the Ultimate Editions. Now, these figures that you see in front of you are not on my list. This is not my top 10. None of these figures right here are my top 10. You can gasp and let me know your comments down in the comment section below who didn't make it and whatnot. I, I would definitely, I want to go back and forth with you in the comment section below. But we do have my top 10 we're going to count down today, but I did want to do some honorable mentions before we dive into my official countdown, and then we will go 10 through 1, of course, explaining why figures made it where and all those different things, man, but what we're going to do first is go through my honorable mentions, then I'm going to give you the criteria for my ranking, and then we're going to take you through the ranking, but Mattel crushed it in 2023, man, a fantastic year of Ultimate Editions, and we have so many great Ultimate Editions coming soon into the year of 2024, and I can't wait for it, man, but nonetheless, let's shut the hell up and let's get into my honorable mention WWE Ultimate Editions of the year for 2023. Starting out first, I'm going to go with Cody Rhodes. When we first saw this figure at the WrestleMania Superstore, we got to see it on display. I was so excited for it. I'm a big Cody fan. I love the look of this figure. I like the head sculpts. I like the cloth jacket. And while I was excited for this figure, I think the execution just wasn't top notch. I think the jacket's a bit loose. I think the color on the tights isn't as accurate. And I honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this torso for Cody, I don't think. I think he would look a lot better with a Seth Rollins style torso. But I still wanted to give a huge shout out to Cody because this is a great figure. I do enjoy this figure, but it did not make my top 10. It may have been a number 11 or 12 this year. Next up is Razor Ramon, a fantastic figure. We do have a Scott Hall ringside exclusive two-pack coming with Kevin Nash in 24, and he did have a chase figure that I do not own yet. I have not been able to find it, haven't been able to locate it, haven't been able to do any of that. This figure, the chase of this figure is probably going in the next missing figures video, but a solid addition. I think that it's solid. I don't like, mine has really loose like drop-down hips and the legs are a bit weird, but I like this gear. I like the head sculpts. Oh man, we got to get into McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley right here, man. The only guy that can really get away with the torso that they give this guy. You guys will also notice that Kurt Angle is not mentioned here in the honorable mentions. Will he make the top 10? You'll have to see, but I love the McDonald's gear. It really grew on me. It's a really good representation of Bobby Lashley, and it poses around well, and I want to give a shout-out. I think it translates Bobby Lashley really, really well, so I want to give a huge shout-out to the Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley. We have the ringside exclusive two-pack Uso figures, the Jey Uso and the Jimmy Uso Ultimates. I have fixed mine up a little bit, but it remains to be seen. I want to give a shout-out to these because I think they're fun figures, even though I don't really care for this leg mold and how stiff and pinless they are. Ultimate Edition John Cena feet, but with all the bells and whistles, these are really good looking figures, and I wanted to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%, but huge shout out to them for the exclusive Usos. I think these are these are fine figures. I just think they could have been a little bit better, so they did not make my top 10 list. Another shout out to the Coliseum Collection. We have the Rick Rude figure from the second edition, and I really like this kissing face and the torso they give this guy. We just gotta get this torso on Cody Rhodes, because I think it would work much better for him. I just don't like that torso they give him unless it's a different guy. But nonetheless, let's, just, let's get into it, man. The Rick Rude is a great figure. Really great representation of the character. Like the cloth goods. Like the kissing face. Rick Rude. And then we have a giant figure, man. Andre the Giant. Really slept on figure. Saw a lot of people turn this guy into Big Show. It's a great figure, man. Really good representation of Andre the Giant. He really towers over your collection. And, you know, he didn't make the top 10, but it's certainly a great addition. I've never even seen this or Seth Rollins at the retail space, so I don't know what's going on with all the Andre and Seth Rollins figures, but I can't find them. Nonetheless, I wanted to buy another one of these, but can't find it, man, so I, I don't know. Andre the Giant. And then for our last honorable mention, I wanted to give a huge shout-out to this unique two-pack of the Undertaker and Gobbledygooker Ultimate Edition two-pack from Amazon. A very, very unique thing here with Gobbledygooker, like all the sculpts. I really don't care for the Gobbledygooker figure as much as I love the idea that they made him, so I like the sculpts. My arms pop out easily. He's not the best articulated. His feet don't really have any articulation whatsoever. They're kind of just a 
stand that these legs plug into, but it's certainly a wild addition. I wanted to give a shout to the Amazon exclusive. And then this Undertaker is a really cool representation of Undertaker in ultimate form. Though we've seen many like this, I do like the face scan. I like the entrance code. And we've seen a lot of these things before, but I wanted to give a huge shout out to that two pack. Now with all of my honorable mentions out of the way, let's get into my criteria for my ranking of the top ultimate editions of 2023. Now, first of all, you have my excitement level for the figure. How hyped was I to get the figure? How, like, how excited does the figure make me when I have it in the collection, like posing around? I'm like, damn, this is so nice. You have likeness to the character on my television. Does it portray the character from WWE TV that I see on a weekly basis or in videos or whatnot? How well does it feel in hand? How well does it pose around? Likeness to the character in terms of face scans and head sculpts and things of that nature. Body likeness also comes into a play, but this kind of ties back to just overall likeness to the character on television. And then you have bonus, which is like accessories, cloth goods, etc, etc. So, but with my criteria out of the way, shut the hell up, dive into the top 10 WWE Ultimate Edition figures of 2023. Coming in at number 10, we have the Coliseum Collection Series 3 Rowdy Roddy Piper figure, man. A really awesome figure that just recently, this may even be the most recent Ultimate Edition on our list, but uh, a figure that truly blew me away. I love the yelling head sculpt, even though we've seen it before. The new editions of the new head sculpts were great, but, but having an Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper was something I've been wanting for. I can't wait for the new one coming out with the Monday Night Wars line and the WCW version, but the cloth goods on this are great. I like the belt. Good looking head sculpts, great representation of Rowdy Roddy Piper, and I feel like that's all you can really ask for when you want an Ultimate Edition figure. Coming in at number 9 is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2023 with the Muhammad Ali Boxer Edition Ultimate Edition figure. Now this figure was a part of a two-pack. Two different Muhammad Ali's in one generous pack. Got the referee version, got the boxer version. A very unique idea from Mattel, but I, at the beginning of this, when I first saw it, I thought it was a very unique thing. Having a Muhammad Ali figure, I thought it was... I didn't think it was necessarily a questionable decision. I just thought it was a little bit outside the box, which they tend to do for San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. I just didn't really expect it, but I think the the execution of the figure was really great. I like the cloth robe. I like having this edition of Muhammad Ali. You know, I like Muhammad Ali. He was a fantastic, legendary athlete. Great head sculpts. Solid overall. Really unique stuff going on with it, but we do have an elite coming of this in the Legends line. Will it be as good as this? I don't know, because you do have the addition of the butterfly joints and whatnot, but I like this edition. I really have had a lot of fun posing this guy around. At the number 8 spot is the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Walmart exclusive Brock Lesnar figure. Now, last year's top 10 Ultimate Edition figures, the modern Brock Lesnar took the number 1 spot. Now, this one had the potential, I guess, to, but I think he misses the mark in a few ways, which is why he's so low on the list compared to the rest of the countdown. But I just love how unique the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar figures are. There was something about that modern version that felt just so quality in hand. I really can't explain it. If you guys don't have that figure, you definitely need to add it. But this one's great as well. The only thing that really hinders this figure is the head sculpts. I really wasn't a big fan of any of the head sculpts, but I like the cloth good shirt. I think it still represents him well. I love this unique body mold, the butterfly joints. He's just a beast, literally, in every sense of the word, pun intended. Beast of a figure, and I want to say how great this figure is. It represents the character from that time period really well. It's just he could have been a lot higher had he had some good head sculpts, but I still like the figure nonetheless. I just think that throwback Brock is a difficult thing for them to nail in the head sculpt department. At number 7 is one of our Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Editions. And we are talking about the Logan Paul Mattel Creations exclusive figure. I really like the entrance jacket on this figure. It's got the Pokemon card necklace around the neck, which is cool. I'm not a big fan of the gear, though, I'll be honest. I just never... I don't like any of the gears that he's worn in WWE so far. And I'm not a Logan Paul guy, but this figure really is... I don't know. It just seems like, similar to that Brock Lesnar. It just seems like there was more effort put into this or something about it. I, I really can't explain it. Unique details. It feels really good in hand, can pose around with the best of them. I'm just not the big fan of a Logan Paul. I don't really care for the gear that much, but it's a really standout figure. I've, I've had a lot of fun posing the guy around and whatnot, but yeah, who doesn't want to just beat up Logan Paul in your collection? At number six, we have one of the most underrated figures of the entire year, the Ultimate Edition Randy Orton, a guy that was on my wish list for a very long time for Ultimate Editions. Now, one thing about Randy Orton is he is actually one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so getting an Ultimate Edition of one of my favorite guys is obviously going to be higher on the list, but I think they did a really good job here. You have a unique torso, even though he's got Kyle XY syndrome, he ain't got a belly button, I don't think. I think the arms could be a bit bigger, to be honest with you. I think he could get an upgrade in arm size. I don't think it needs to be ridiculous, but I think he could use some newer arms or some bigger arms. 
Jones. Really like the formula. Having the butterfly joints to be able to do the RKO is huge. The head sculpts weren't the best either. I felt like the screaming expression could have been a more screaming expression. It kind of looked like he just had a honeycomb mouth, like he was in one of those commercials from the early 2000s where his mouth is just wide AF open, trying to eat a, a box of honeycombs or a cereal. But I really like the figure. I like the hoodie. I really wish it wasn't an RK Bro version of Randy Orton. I would have liked to just seen a singles version of Randy Orton or a throwback like WrestleMania 31 or something along the lines of that nature, but having a Randy Orton Ultimate Edition is great. Also, not to mention the gear is very plain Jane. Could have been a whole lot better gear, but the black on black is kind of nice if you can get the designs on it to stand out. Would have preferred a colorful gear, but I still love this figure. All right, man, getting into the nitty-gritty, we're at number five. Now, a lot of people probably thought this figure was going to be in the top three, maybe even the top two, but the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition figure is so phenomenal with every pun intended. I think a lot of the things that kind of dropped this figure throughout the year, if you would, I think we did ranking every Ultimate Edition so far in 2023 back in October, or maybe it was August. I think it was August we did ranking every single Ultimate Edition WWE figure released in 2023 so far, and I think this figure did come in at number two. However, I think since the Elite 104 AJ Styles came out, it kind of pushed this figure back some. I think the figure is a little bit too tall. The skin tone's not accurate. He doesn't have chest hair, but the attire is fantastic. I love this attire. It's one of my favorite AJ Styles attires, I think, ever. The white is so crispy. The blue is so vibrant and nice. The head sculpts on this guy are ridiculous. The cloth goods is great. The hoodie is great. The more I say things out loud, the more I want to bump this guy up. But it remains to be seen. If this guy, if this guy had a better, uh, uh, just a hair bit formula, the right skin tone, some chest hair. Oh, it'd be unbelievable. It'd be unbelievable. If you did a torso swap with this in the Elite 104 with the correct skin tone, oh my god. I mean, you're talking, oh man. And all of those things put him in top five territory that we talked about, but I don't think he is in the top three scenario, which he would be if they were to fix a couple things. At number four, we have the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Walmart exclusive Rob Van Dam figure. This is an attire and a figure that we wanted for so very long. And very similar to Randy Orton, I like the stationary head sculpt or just the regular head sculpt with no expression like this one. But the yelling head sculpt, I really wasn't a big fan of. I don't like the big knee pads, which is, you know, it, it's accurate that they're big. It's just something that stresses me out. But everything else is very great. I love the posability of the figure. It's a figure that really represents Rob Van Dam from that era. I I love Rob Van Dam. He's very poseable, like I said. A great moment in time. One that was on my wish list for a very long time. So getting a figure that's on my wish list, obviously the excitement level is going to be through the roof. He looks like the character on TV. He poses around well. The attire's clean. All of the above, man. This is a great figure, and I also like putting the signature hands on there. I don't like to pose the figures around because I really want you to see the full figure when I'm doing these top 10 countdowns, but I should put him in the Rob Van Dam chant or pose, but yeah, having an Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam was a dream come true, and I really enjoyed this figure. I think the execution is very solid and I think we can only build up from here. Now, I want to preface this with saying I thought this was a 2022 figure release, but I do believe it actually is a 2023 release. We're talking about the Mattel Creations exclusive Raw is War Attitude Era Ring Ultimate Edition Kane figure. A true specimen of a figure. Man, you want to talk about a figure that really captures the likeness and the build of a character? This Kane is ridiculous. The first release of Kane was really good as well. Now, this is sort of a repaint. They did sculpt a new upper chest on this guy, but this figure is very menacing. Now, it is a kind of a repaint. They did do some different things between this figure and the first Kane Ultimate Edition, but it doesn't really matter because this figure is such a great representation of Kane and how massive he is and how menacing he is that it just couldn't be left off the list. Growing up, a huge fan of Kane. This figure checks all the boxes. I love the glove sculpt and the hands, the arms, and you know, one thing that I always shred Kane Elites for is that they don't capture the build of Kane, but I think that the Ultimate Editions have really done a good job of capturing that and this one does no less. I mean, just look at this guy. He looks like he's going to beat the hell out of you. He looks like he could come alive and choke me out right now. Yeah, this guy's a beast. He comes in at number three. Coming in at number two is the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Rock figure, man. A figure that I have been picking up a lot of. These guys are actually on clearance, which makes me sick. Because this figure's so good, man. Great head sculpts. Pretty much an upgrade of his first Ultimate Edition that a lot of people were very sought, you know, very much sought after version of the Rock. This is sort of his heel run in the track suit, but you take all that off, man. You have that blue gear underneath. It's got the butterfly joints, great body proportions, lots of signature hands, great head sculpts. Just one of those things, man, where 
where it really encapsulates the character, man. And anytime you can do that, it's going to get a ton of bonus points, in my opinion. And that's why this Rock figure does come in so high on the list. Just a really fun figure overall. If you don't have this, man, you need to hit up your local Target. It may be on clearance. I know we're really close to Christmas, so it may be missing, but it's still the opposite end of egregious. Just a great one. Pun intended. Funny how that always happens. And number one, we have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins figure, man. Now, I do know I have this custom championship on there that kind of completes the look, but this figure is just so good. It's everything I ever wanted out of an Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Now, is it my favorite gear of all time? No, but I still really like the gear. I think it's solid. Love the entrance robe. I mean, this entrance robe is one of the best things Mattel's ever done, I think, with the fur, the shininess, the way it flows. Now, until that Ultimate Edition Series 20 Asuka gets through the door, this is probably probably the top of the line when it comes to when it, when it comes to robes and things of that nature. Ric Flair had some good ones. Charlotte had some good ones. And there's plenty of cloth goods that Mattel has knocked out of the water, but this one goes without saying. It's a great figure, man. Great head sculpts. Great formula. Very, very poseable version of Seth Rollins. Just a piece that really makes me happy when I look at it. And being a big Seth Rollins guy, that makes it more enjoyable as well. So that's another thing. And again, I always say this in my list videos. You know, my list isn't the right list. It's just my list. So I I want to know all of your thoughts on my selections down in the comment section below. But I don't really know how you couldn't like this figure. Very poseable. Very good likeness, great formula, checks all the boxes, great character. It just fits all of my criteria, so I really had no issue whatsoever putting Seth Rollins at number one. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my top 10 WWE Ultimate Edition figures of 2023, man. This year, again, was such a great year of not only Mattel WWE action figures, but Ultimate Edition figures especially. And I cannot wait for 2024, as I know it's going to be another huge year. Plenty of Ultimates to come, brand new basics that are, that are apparently going to blow us away. A lot of Elite figures just a ton of great things to come in the wrestling action figure space, but I appreciate every single one of you guys for the support this year. If you're watching this video, if you're a regular viewer, maybe you check in sometimes, maybe you're just more of a news guy, or maybe you just care about my list or reviews or whatever the case is, man, I just greatly appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me, and I just appreciate this community so very much for the support that you guys have shown me over the years and the memories that I've made and the friendships and the relationships, guys. You are incredible. But before we get out of here, another huge shout out to our patron members for their continued support as well. I appreciate every single one of you guys as well. This year was kind of a trial run for our Patreon. I plan for 2024 to really be the next stepping stone for those guys, so I'm really excited about that as well. But anyways, man, I look forward to next year's countdown as well, but I'm getting the hell out of here. I want to know down in the comment section below where you guys thought was the number one ultimate, maybe what your top 10 are, top 5, top 3. I'd love to chime in down in the comment section below and have a little debate. Also, if you guys missed it, we did count down our top 10 WWE Elite figures of the year, so definitely go check out that video if you guys missed it. But that is going to wrap up my top 10 WWE Ultimates of the year, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. Leave a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.